What's up everyone, just want to do a quick video here. I'm um, doing a little bit more testing. Uh, I've got this old part here and the 3D printed nozzle. So this is um, entirely 3D printed. Uh, you can see in there the hose barbs are both plastic and the nozzle is also plastic. Um, so this one is slightly different than uh, than that of the, the first video I did. Um, the print had an issue right near the end, so the end of the tip um, finished about here it was sort of entirely sloped so um, I wanted to print out another one um, and just go through and do a little bit more testing with the um, the, the full size nozzle um, and initial testing there you can see is, is that look pretty good um, so I'm going to quickly go through uh, finish the rest of the part and um, then we'll see how we look and um, just make sure I'm, I'm happy with um, the finish given off by this nozzle so uh, let's get at it Now pressure's getting a bit low on the compressor so I'll just give it a minute and get back to it.
getting low again, but the finish is quite nice. I'm going to go through and finish it up. Um, it's a little patchy in some places where that pressure is just too low to get off uh, the last of the oxidisation. Um, so we'll let it fill up again. But overall, the finish that's coming up is pretty good. Not bad at all for a nozzle that's um, completely 3D printed. Um, I'll get this part finished and pull out and see if there's any signs of wear coming about on the inside there with that, that air jet. But generally these plastics, they don't take too much of a beating from the glass beads. Um, and that's on the other side of the nozzle. So without the air, theoretically, uh, it should last the right as long as you're using glass beads and not aluminium oxide or crushed glass. So um, definitely a good test nozzle. As you can see, the result is pretty good. I'll pull it out after I've rinsed it. But the result seems to be pretty good. And um, if, if you know you can just print it out, put it together and test it and it's gonna work, it's a good way of working out whether or not uh, your gun is causing issues if you're having problems with um, with your cabinet or your new setup. So um, now that our pressure's back up, I'll just see if we can get this finished off before we run out too much, and then we'll pull it out and have a look, and we'll check the inside of the nozzle. Yeah, it's definitely taking off the last of that patchy stuff.
looking pretty good so I'll um, go give it a rinse and then uh, dry it off and we'll have a look um, so far so good it doesn't feel like it's trying to burst open or anything um, that new um, new design for the hose barb seems to be a lot stronger um, but yeah seems like a pretty good finish so I'll pull it out clean it up and have a proper look so I just made a bit of a mess of things um, the nozzle that I just printed uh, I forgot to print undersize it was at 100% of size so it was really tight in there um, and then the next mistake I made was I dropped it um, when I pulled it out of the cabinet and then so that weakened it and then when I went to undo it it broke and then the last part of it was I was drilling it out and just made a hell of a mess um, so this will probably end up going on this full time now I'll uh, print another one um, I'm actually quite liking this grey it's just another PLA so I'm going to print a print another one with in that um, that will end up on the vacuum full time um, but looking in there I don't think I'm going to be able to show you well enough but let's see if I can get some light in there a little better so you can still see the print imperfections on it so it doesn't seem to be wearing um, the stage you see in there the mess that I've made see all the print imperfections in there um, the um, that spaghettiing or whatever they call it uh, where it moves between parts and that's all still in there um, it hasn't been worn away so um, I'm thinking as long as you're not using harsh medias like your aluminium oxides and stuff uh, this should last fairly well um, but yeah like I say I made a hang of a mess of that when I was trying to get that out um, so that I think now will begin its new life uh, on the pneumatic vacuum you would have seen in my last video um, but back to the part it's come up really quite nicely um, it was just on my little compressor so as you'll see in the video I had to stop a couple of times but I mean that finish that finish is pretty much as good as, as the other guns um, that I make uh, fairly even that nozzle seems to be working quite well I didn't go too hard on that so I missed some parts on that but yeah there's a finish not too bad at all from a 3d printed gun or 3d printed nozzle but yeah thanks for watching